You only use 10% of your brain. Many people believe that we only use 10% of our brain. It's a fun idea because it makes us think we could unlock secret brain powers if we just figured out how. But science shows this isn't true at all. Brain scans prove that almost all areas of the brain are active at different times during daily life. Even when you're resting, parts of your brain are still working. If 90% of your brain wasn't used, damage to most areas wouldn't matter. But even small injuries can cause huge problems. The brain is also very energy hungry. It uses about 20% of your body's energy, even though it's only a small part of your weight. That wouldn't happen if it was mostly turned off. This myth may have come from a misunderstanding or an old quote, and it keeps showing up in books and movies. But in real life, your brain is always busy, and no big part of it just sits there, unused. Shaving makes hair grow thicker. A lot of people believe that shaving makes hair grow back faster, thicker, or darker. But this isn't how hair works. When you shave, you're cutting hair at the skin's surface. That makes the ends blunt, which can feel coarse as they grow out. This makes it seem thicker, but the hair itself hasn't changed. It's not growing in faster, darker, or more strongly. Several studies have looked into this and found no link between shaving and hair growth. If shaving really made hair grow back more, it would be used as a treatment for baldness. The truth is that hair growth is controlled by your hormones and genetics, not by razors. Shaving doesn't do anything to the hair's root under the skin, which is where growth happens. It just trims the part above the surface. So while it may feel different after shaving, it's not actually growing indifferently. Cracking knuckles causes arthritis. Cracking your knuckles might sound bad and annoy the people around you, but it doesn't cause arthritis. The sound you hear when you crack your knuckles isn't from bones grinding together. It's caused by bubbles of gas in the joint fluid popping. This happens when you stretch the joint space quickly. Studies have tested this myth for decades, and none have shown a link between cracking your knuckles and arthritis. One doctor even cracked the knuckles on one hand for 60 years and never cracked the other. In the end, both hands were exactly the same. While frequent cracking might make your joints feel sore or reduce grip strength for a short while, it won't cause permanent damage. Arthritis usually comes from other causes like injury, age, or immune system issues. So cracking your knuckles might be annoying to others, but it's not dangerous to your health. Blood is blue until it hits oxygen. Some people think blood inside your body is blue and only turns red when it meets air. That's not true. Human blood is always red. It changes shade depending on how much oxygen it's carrying. Blood rich in oxygen is bright red. Blood with less oxygen is dark red. So why do veins sometimes look blue under your skin? That's because of how light moves through the layers of skin and tissue. Blue light gets scattered more easily than red light, and that makes your veins appear blue even though the blood inside is red. Real blue blood does exist in some animals, like horseshoe crabs, which use copper in their blood instead of iron. But in humans, there is no blue stage. The idea of blue blood might come from looking at diagrams or from misunderstanding how light and color work in the body. You have five senses. We're all taught from a young age that we have five senses. Sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. But that's only part of the story. Scientists now recognize many more senses that our bodies use every day. These include your sense of balance, your sense of temperature, your ability to feel pain, your sense of hunger and thirst, and something called proprioception, which lets you know where your body parts are even when your eyes are closed. There's also interoception, which helps you feel what's going on inside your body, like knowing your heart is beating fast. Depending on how you count them, humans may have more than 20 senses. The five senses idea came from the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle, and while it's easy to remember, it leaves out a lot. Your tongue has taste zones. You may have seen the diagrams showing that the tongue has different zones for different tastes, like sweet at the tip, salty at the sides, and bitter in the back. But science says that's wrong. All parts of your tongue can taste all five basic flavors. Sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami. The taste map came from a misreading of a research paper from the early 1900s. Later scientists realized the differences were tiny, and the whole map idea was way too simple. Taste buds are spread all over the tongue and even in other parts of your mouth. Some areas might be a little more sensitive, but no area is locked into just one taste. You swallow eight spiders a year in your sleep. You've probably heard that people swallow eight spiders a year while sleeping. It's one of those facts that sounds terrifying and believable, but it's just not true. Spiders don't want anything to do with people. We're big, noisy, and scary to them. They can sense vibrations, and your breathing, heartbeat, and even small movements are enough to scare them off. The idea that a spider would crawl into your mouth while you sleep is extremely unlikely. There are no real studies or evidence showing this happens. In fact, this fact may have started as a made-up example to show how easily people believe made-up facts. And it worked. It spread everywhere. While it's technically possible for a spider to end up in someone's mouth, it's not something that actually happens often, if at all. Most body heat escapes through the head. 
There's a popular idea that you lose most of your body heat through your head. Sometimes people say as much as 80%. That's not true. This idea started with a military experiment where people were bundled up in warm clothing but had no hats. Naturally, most heat escaped from the uncovered head. But if they had exposed other body parts instead, the heat would have escaped from there. In reality, your head makes up about 10% of your body surface area. You lose heat from any part of the body that's not covered, not just the head. Wearing a hat is still smart in cold weather, but your head doesn't act like a chimney. Heat loss depends on exposure and insulation, not something special about your scalp. Hair and nails keep growing after death. Some people say that hair and nails keep growing after a person dies. It's a creepy thought, but it's not true. After death, the body stops making new cells. That means hair and nails can't keep growing. What really happens is that the skin dries out and shrinks back. This makes the nails and hair look longer, even though they haven't grown. It's just an illusion caused by dehydration. Real growth needs active cells, oxygen, and blood flow, all of which stop when the body dies. If you liked this video and want to see more of it, subscribe.